Well, I'm gonna crack on. Hey, yeah, thank you. And that is one thing I've noticed with this bike. Everyone comments on it. Absolutely everyone comments on it. Okay guys, I am not going to talk too much today about anything in particular. Um, I've had this bike now like a week or so, I can't even remember how long I've had it now, it feels like forever. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick ride, a fun ride. Um, because I feel the day is upon us when I'm uh, going to have to say goodbye to this bike. So I'm going to take it on a little run. What's this guy doing? No indicator or anything. Okay. I'm going to take it on a little run of mine that I do. Um, not every time, but if I feel a bit tired or I'm just not feeling it, you know, the bike or whatever. I take this little run here and it's got a nice couple of bends and different things. It's quite a nice view as you can see. And uh, it's normally quite a quiet road as well. And it just kind of gets me feeling the bike again. And um, so um, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, if you're ever in the, in the vicinity, then you should check it out. Um, but it's uh, what the Harley dealer my local dealer where they do all their sort of test runs and if you want to try out a bike this is the route that they take you and um, they found quite a decent little route really it's a few miles it doesn't take very long at all but it's um, it's a good little run just to throw the bike about a bit and you know put it through its paces so um, yeah sit back and enjoy and I'll probably talk about this bike a little bit more and uh, how much how well it handles and all the rest of it um, but yeah, yeah we will begin in three two one and we are a go so it starts off with uh, whoa there's a gear change <laughs> starts off with quite some nice little sort of s bends and that it's a shape they need to cut the grass here because you can't see what's ahead of you at the moment but it's good because you can just open her up, get a feel for the bike, you know, it's a little bit windy across here but it's, um, like I said, it's got some nice straights and some nice bends and uh, yeah, just putting the bike through its paces really. Better slow down a little bit, I'm uh, doing 80 just then and it is 60 along here. Got to be a little careful because you get a lot of um, tractors come along here and people trying to overtake and that's when we have uh, bad times on a motorbike. So um, yeah, you got to have your wits about you. Normally this is a, the hedges and everything are a bit lower so you can see what's around the corner a bit better. Um, there's always a bit of gravel here which I remember. And uh, yep, speed cameras, okay. Um, don't like the camera of this uh, bend so we have to take it a little steady. But open her up again, and I oh, feel that Milwaukee 8. It is beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's, um, here we are, is a fellow cyclist. A bit of an odd. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely little road. Can we have a little bit of quiet time now? Drop her down into two. Feel the, uh, the bend. A bit of rear brake and just try not to scrape the pegs but you had to do it on these on this bike 
So we've got to be good boys and girls for the next little couple hundred yards um, as it's a 30 mile hour zone and going into a bit of residential. I've uh, got to be careful of the school kids and all that jazz, cyclists and all that. Um, but yeah, I, I am going to miss this bike, I really am. Um, if, if I could swap the street bob and I could put some pipes on here, I think I'd probably do it. Um, but I just can't afford this bike, I just can't afford it. The insurance would be pretty insane as well. Um, so I don't really want to bust bust the budget just yet on a, a, a new bike. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the street bob. I really am, but this has got so many more extras on it. Um, which, you know, the bags, I'm so happy with having these bags on the back. They really are a handy thing to have. And um, the engine, it is better. It, does, it definitely feels better anyway. Um, they've put, obviously put some better components in this one. The braking is perfect. And, uh, you know, the weight is not that bad. It's just a, a brilliant all-rounder. And uh, it's super comfortable. It's just so comfortable. I think I'm going to miss that the most. The comfort on this bike. I know my street bob. I'm going to have a bad back again. And it's going to be another, you know, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I need to get off. I need to get off. Like, you know. Um, but I, I am starting to miss the street bob, I must admit. I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed that I haven't got my bike back. I know it's not really anyone's fault, really. Um, Bunking have obviously done their part, getting it done, getting it sent off, but it's just, you know, it's all the taxes and everything else, and the postage, and then Harley, you know, they're just waiting, like I am. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to wait much longer, to be honest, I want to get my bike back, I want to start vlogging properly again, and uh, here we go, there's a little jump here, Wait, oh, come off the seats. And again, so Humbat Bridge coming up now. It's quite a sketchy one, actually. You, you meet a farm vehicle on this one, and uh, it's gonna hurt. So I'll just open up the throttle just to be a bit more dangerous. Brake last minute, drop down a gear, nothing coming. Magpie salute, and off we go. Gotta watch out for people coming on either side here. Oh yeah, 80. Yep, yeah. as soon as I uh, I get the bob back, I'll be taking a straight out on this one just to get a feel for her, see what that stage one feels like. And uh, get used to the handlebars and the risers. And uh, yeah, get used to sitting on the old crouch position again. So, um. Yep, that's it guys. That is a very quick ride and I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. I love chatting to you guys, so leave some comments and I will see you next time. Goodbye.